<laughs> okay, let's do it again. Hey guys, so here's our challenge. I want to promote my new online product and find top influencers to do that. As you may don't know, influencers marketing is getting more and more popular. And basically, you can find influencers, pay them, and they will promote your products. For example, there are beauty influencers, tech influencers, even fitness influencers. So the idea is to use Python and create online database uh, which stores all of the influencers in a selected niche. Checked already online products and there are a couple of them, but all of them are not free. So why shouldn't we do our own? Let's do it. So first of all, we have to make some research about influencer marketing. What I mean by that is how to actually find good influencers and what is necessary to know about them. I mean, we can find out about some indicators like daily growth, average likes per post, engagement ratio. Those indicators are necessary to know if our influencers are not using any bots or they are not buying any likes or followers. And in order to do that, we have to gather the data in Instagram in a time. For example, in a period of one week then we'll know that they are not using any bots, they are not buying likes. And there are a couple of ways to implement that. One of them is using Instagram API or third party libraries from GitHub, or we can even implement our own API. Then we have to also think about technology stack. I'll use Python, Django, Django REST framework, and then I'm gonna choose database, probably Postgres SQL or MySQL or even SQLite. We gotta plan all of the relations in the database models and then we gotta think about the script which will actually gather all of the data remember we don't want to make just one single request because then the data won't be accurate we gotta use some additional service such as cron jobs to be able to make requests every few hours and gather good data and, and of course we gotta think about deploy of our application probably we'll use aws services such as ec2 So it turned out that Instagram API allows us to do only 200 calls per hour, uh, which is in my case not enough. So I also decided to check existing uh, libraries, existing li repositories in uh, GitHub, but they didn't satisfy me. So I decided to implement my own. I planned everything on a whiteboard and we will need uh, one API and three scripts, which I will talk about just in a minute. So our models look like this. We get a category for a selected niche, for example, tech. Then we have Instagram accounts, which is pretty clear. Uh, we have Instagram posts, which will be updating uh, together with Instagram accounts. And of course we have Instagram account reports to know uh, how many followers that we have on Monday, then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. So we can somehow calculate the growth, the daily growth. And of course we have hashtags to discover new accounts. Now uh, we gotta create the first scraper and it will be a scraper which uh, finds the new hashtags for a certain category. Let's say we, have, we wanna uh, find the influencers related to technology. We have to supply it with the first hashtag, let's say coding. And it, as we can see here in Polish, uh, this is the related hashtag. So we can create the recursive function, which will work like this. We do coding, then we iterate through all of them for example, then we uh, click on computer science and again, we iterate through all of them and go deeper, deeper, deeper. And in the end, we have set of the hashtags related to our category.
So our next scraper is a scraper which actually finds uh, influencers, finds good accounts. And in order to do that, Instagram uh, gives us the popular posts. Whenever we are in a hashtag, an explore page, first nine posts are promoted by Instagram. So we can iterate through them and we can get on those accounts and add them to our uh, database. So as you can see, they are totally different accounts and we'll be adding them. Last script uh, is the script which will actually update our account here, uh, which is the most important thing. Uh, we'll be updating uh, every few hours. We'll be checking every few hours if the accounts were actually updated or not. And so here is the API view, but there is also like the script view, uh, which will ask the database if the accounts were updated. And if they weren't, then it will update them. And also we'll do reports, we'll get a new info about posts and everything. So let's run our script and yeah, as you can see, uh, it's updating the accounts uh, or checking if they were updated. And as you can see, it also added me, <laughs> which means that I may be the influencer related to tech. As I saw, it added some of my friends, uh, which I also follow. So yeah, basically it's pretty cool. And now let's see how it looks like in a API. So this is the API view from Django's framework. Here is like the category technology, which we added. Next, we're going to take a look at our accounts. Uh, so we got a couple of accounts here. We got also me. <laughs> we can also order our uh, accounts, uh, for example, by daily growth. And this crazy account grows more than 1000 followers every single day. So it's a huge page. We of course has our reports, we have posts and hashtags. All right guys, so it turns out our script is actually working. We got everything. We can right now promote our favorite online product uh, because we got influencers. Uh, the one thing which I had discovered is we don't really got all the influencer account. We also got those huge aggregations account. We just re, uh, repost other accounts, but I guess it's still fine for a short project. And yeah, guys, it's open source project. So you can go to my GitHub and get the whole for free and even develop it by your own, uh, add some new features. And yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.